Hello everybody, Zoe Propella here, and we're back with another part of the Let's Play Star Stable. And today we're riding Flemeth yet again, because we haven't ridden her in a little while. So I thought, hey, why not? And oh look, it's someone else. Well, hello person, I do not know. Anyways, we are back with the quest with Alex once again. So, yes, let's talk to Alex. Listen, when you go to Silvergood Village, whatever you do, don't get too close to this man. He's dangerous, okay? I don't mean to sound like your mom or anything, but I can't let anything happen to you. We need you in this, Lucy. Take these binoculars. Binoculars. Okay. They're pretty good. Stay on the other end of the square and watch the post office through them. There is a small set of coffee tables there, so take a seat. You may have to wait there for some time before Mr. Sandman appears, I suppose. Let's not let's hope let's not hope it will be for too long. Okay. I like butchered that yet again because you know I can't speak English. Okay, let's see here. Actually, I wonder if you guys can be a boring bus. I just sit here, like, I'm done now. Okay. Waiting, 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 waiting. Fama, can you help me here? I'm a tad bit bored. Fama is just like, there. Fama don't care. Um, I want to, uh, oh, oh, is he here now? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that, look at that ugly face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you even really walk over to Derek? He's so stuck over there. What is he? Well then, um, gonna uh, okay. Well then, okay. Let's go on with. I, I don't know how to describe what just happened, so we're just gonna leave. Okay, Alex, I'm back. So, Mr. Shands and Mr. Sandman is the same person. That explains it. Now we know what kind of tragedy Justin is involved in. He's not only gone to visit his grandfather, but he is probably being held prisoner where. Wherever the Dark Core bring their victims to be brainwashed into joining their sorry pack. And now we know why the Baroness has been acting so strange as well. She has, in fact, been married to Mr. Sands himself, the slimiest slug in all of Yorvik. I can see why she's keeping that to herself. What did I get? Ew. Um. That sounded mean, but I don't like those pants. <laughs> While you were down in the village, both Godfrey and the Baroness arrived. Let's see what the Baroness has to say about all this. Watch her be like, nope, I don't want to talk to you. This car will never leave again. We, okay, no? Okay. Well, you got, you got a nice car here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. I'll explain everything. Of course I will. The way I've been behaving, it's... It simply has been nowhere near the customary dignity of a grown woman. I can only blame it on the constant stress that I've been under lately. What with, what with the GED threatening to destroy this island and the vineyard ruined both by them and the merciless winter. I'm too old for all this. That must be it. It makes me act like a wicked old hag. Let me tell you girls what happened. Um, I totally did not just take a thumbnail picture. <laughs> A day with a day with really bad weather, I freed Linda from her work around the stables and had her come to the castle to clean up the attic. Well, that was a mistake. Apparently, an old wedding photo lying around. I had an old wedding photo lying around. One of me and the man that used to be my husband, Mr. Sandman. You'll have to excuse me, but I just can't say his current name. I just can't, anyway. So the girl found his picture and recognized my husband as Mr. Well as that man. Can you believe the dread I felt at that moment? I panicked that knowledge could absolutely not leave the castle. It would destroy this family's reputation. Built up during the hundreds of years I had Godfrey lock Linda in the castle so she wouldn't tell anyone. And what's more, this horrifying man, Mr. Sands, there, I said it. I, it doesn't seem to have aged a day since I last saw him 45 years ago. A complete and utter scandal. That's what it is. Let me tell you girls more. Perhaps we could work something out together. Okay. I'm so ashamed, girls. I really am. And yet there's something that makes me fret when I think of this girl, Sabine. She's had some sort of power over me, I believe. If there was such a thing as darkening of another's mind, I would say she used it on me. My head's been feeling different, lighter since she went away. Okay, I'll get off the car now. You're right, Lucy. The Baroness is a powerful ally. It's her family that has the greatest influence over Jorvik, and we could need we need all we could need her help in all of the problems that seem to be waiting around the corner. She should be especially useful in our search for Justin, who we now know to be her grandson. In exchange for her help, we'll keep quiet about her secrets. Okay, it feels kind of like blackmail, but I'm fine with that, I guess. Oh, girls, I will do anything I can do to help you from now on, and I'm still rather powerful. That I'll tell you. Someone has a big ego. You should let your friend out of the castle. Godfrey has the key. Gimme, 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 gimme. 
Certainly, miss. I am sure to have the key somewhere here in this po in this pocket. No, this maybe. Mm -hmm. There was the key. I always had it in my shoe, but I forgot that forgot it this time. Here you are. You and Alex can ride down to the castle and lock up the castle. Um, lock up the castle door and let your your dear friend out. Okay, let's go. How fast is Alex exactly? I'm kind of curious. I want to go with her. Well, then I followed her for nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Linda. <gasps> Linda! Hello! Yay! Oh, bright light in my eyes. What? I am free? Oh, yeah. Walk through Flemeth. I'm sure she appreciates that. Whatever. Fine. I'll follow you then. Linda? Linda! Hello! Okay. I, I'm out! Finally! It's all thanks to you guys. Did you find the book pages? So what's happening here, if I may ask? The Baroness apologized, I see. Well, I haven't exactly had a blast in the tower, but at least I've had the time to read a lot of books. So, are you a friend of Alex? I see. Thank you so much for letting me out. Now, maybe you could tell me what's happen happened while I was in there. I want to know everything. Okay. Woo, there seems to be a lot of weirdness going on. The Dark Corps are active in Yorvik again with Mr. Sands as their leader. The Druids want to summon us girls once again. Justin Moreland is gone. Dark clouds are hovering over this island. It seems like the adventure has only just begun. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> So a lot of things are indeed happening here. I really appreciate your being able to help me in this, Lucy. You are you have been fantastic. Next thing I've got to do is uh, next thing I've got to do is finding two other girls called Anne and Lisa. They make a little team they make a little team together with Linda and me, you see. We have to continue working for the keepers of Aideen in favor of this precious island. Until I find them, I Linda uh, I, Linda, Elizabeth, and the Baroness will keep looking for Justin. I would very much like like it if you joined us, Lucy. Will you please join us? Well, I don't really think I have a choice. I'm so happy you said yes. Welcome to our little group. Before we continue the search for Justin and my other friends, Elizabeth wants you to practice your writing skills. You need to work seriously, get the best equipment there is, work in to increase your reputation, race the tracks here in Silverblade in order to get as good results as you possible as you can possibly get. I'll find you when it's time to continue the adventure. We will accomplish great things together, Lucy, that I'm sure of, because you know this is definitely not the end. I will contact you when you when you are ready for the new adventures. Okay, yay! What is this? Oh, yay! Reputation skill? Okay. Oh! The island of Yorvik, once filled with life and joy, now seems to have been cast under the shadow of a gathering storm. The islanders and their beloved horses have already been through a long, harsh winter journey, which they began to feel increasingly uneasy, where darker forces moving in to reign over them. What if that awful winter was just the beginning? Was it the herald of a new age of darkness? Many questions remain unanswered. Will the GED finally exploit and ravage Yorvik's unique and beautiful nature? What will happen when their drills finally reach the core of the island? Nobody really knows what lies within the core. The island's druids, the keepers of Aideen, have begun the final stages of their rituals to call forth their four riders so they may enter into battle with the evil con... con I don't know what that is. Dark Core, an organization that has seemingly lured the innocent Justin Moreland to join them in their execu executing their core covert and mysterious plans, whatever. I can't read. <laughs> so what part do you play in all of this? It remains to be seen, but it seems to be some of the considerable importance. What you know so far is that Alex and Elizabeth want you to work hard on your writing skills, earn a good reputation, and reach the highest heights of the championship scoreboards, all in the name of becoming the best writer you can be. A writer, a writer ready to face whatever comes her way. Okay. Well, afterwards it's hard to continue that, so we should continue on. So I said I wanted to do the Yarrow quest. Oh, hello, Starshine! <laughs> um... <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just casually gonna walk back over here. You guys heard nothing. An order from the inn. That's good. We really need the income now that the road down south is close as well. That Edfield has a nose for business. It'll be a boost for the entire county if he gets in up and running again. You want to go to Yorvik Stables? Well, just continue along the coast due west until you reach Yalaham. Right, right through the city and you'll soon see the stable. However, if you're going to Yalaham, talk to Jack Goldspur by the town hall. He's the city's new mayor. I'm just not sure if Jack's the right man for the job. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed if you get my drift. He, <laughs> luckily, his sister Jill helped him at least. That real, they really need all the help they can get. So talk to Jack to see if there is if there is anything you can do. The whole country would appreciate it if you could help the city back onto its feet. 
Alright, I won't take up any more of your precious time. Ride left to the main road, and that's all you need to know. Okay, let's see. Could you help me with something while you're here? It happens to be the road itself is closed now, and I and I really don't know why. But a year ago, our neighbor Harold put up a fence between our lands. We've always gotten along well, but suddenly overnight, there was a fence there. We really haven't heard from him since, only since seen him from a distance where he walks over his fields with a shrunken head i've called upon him but he hasn't looked in my direction besides our broken friendship it has caused other problems for instance bottles from his bottling plant has started to float ashore on our beach i don't know why he's throwing the bottles into the sea but could you ride down the beach and below and pick up all the bottles you find thanks oh, that is kind of you okay let's go get those first time. Thanks, that was kind of you. I guess I should tell the council about this issue, but something tells me our neighbor Harold has enough problems for now. Something must have happened. It is not normal to shield themselves. It's not normal to shield themselves from the world like this. Okay, well let's head to Yalham now. Yay! Why, hello, Jack. Howdy doody, I'm Jack Goldspur. It's nice to uh, with it's nice with a new face in town. So who are you? What? Okay. Hey Lucy, welcome to Yellowham, pride of the Southern Norvik and the world's favorite place. What can I do for you, Lucy? You need to see Herman. Okay, that was terribly typical. Typical. That's like the only thing I can't help you with. Herman is gone, disappeared, nowhere to be found. When I need him the most, he goes on vacation. Do you have any idea how much trouble that causes me? Why do I need Herman? Well, I happen to be the mayor of Yellowham, a very honorable duty. Why me? No one else wanted it. So Herman asked me if I would accept the respectable position. Excellent, I thought. As a mayor, I'll get to experience fine dining, movie premieres, cool parties, and lots of nice gifts all the time. But it isn't all like that. I'm just shuffling paper all day. How boring is that? I told Herman, but he said I should be proud of the responsibility work. Work hard and be a role model for the city's residents. Responsibility, leadership, role model, bah, yuck, ew. You can hear for yourself how incredibly boring that is. I've tried to get a hold of Herman to get him to withdraw his worthless, to withdraw this worthless job, but I can't because he's on vacation. I'm stuck. However, you can't fool this guy that easily. Listen closely. I've come up with an awesome idea. I got an, uh, I called for election because I'm quitting. Someone else can take over this lousy job. Huh? What? Oh, yes. What did you want, Lucy? You, to find the way to your big stables? I know Joanna. I know Joanna and Joanna, who works at the Yorvik Stables. If you help me with my awesome plan, I'll call and tell her that you need to get a hold of Herman. She might be able to help you. Do we have a deal? Good. Take these ballots for the new election and pass them out here in the city. I'll prepare for the next step of my plan. You should take the opportunity to check out the city in the meantime. See ya. Okay. Did it go well? Nice. Okay, now I'm not. It's now. It's not. It's time. Okay, I think it means now. It's time to start the next part of the plan. We have to find new candidates for this money job. I've already spoken with the most eligible, but they aren't willing when I ask them. However, if you do it instead, then they'll say they'll have to say yes. I should have asked if they wanted to set up before. If they wanted to set up before you handed out the ballots. Oh, it's these kind of boring rules and stuff that makes me not want this money job. Get it? <laughs> Paddock Island. Ugh. What about... What do you want? Good day! With whom am I speaking? Lucy? Lucy, how lovely to meet you. I noticed that you were talking to my brother Jack. He isn't how... Uh, how should I put it? He doesn't have the necess necess necessary capabilities to function as mayor. But our father insisted he should take the job. I'm guessing he wants Jack to grow up and learn to take responsibility. Things are like they are now. Jack is the mayor and I'm trying to salvage the situation as usual. I apologize. I am not to bore you with our family affairs. But as you understand, I'm, tr I'm busy trying to get Jack to do what he should. Would you be willing to help me with a little something? You would. Thank Lucy. It's simple. Jan Jarlson submitted an application for a building permit several weeks back. It's routine work and Jack should have signed off the application the same day it, uh, it arrived. Could you get him to sign off on this paper when I ask him? He just waves it away. Okay. Ugh. Jack. Hey, Lucy, how is everything? Jar Jar Jan Jarlson's Jan Jarlson's building permanent application? Never seen it. You want me to sign up on Jan, Jan Jarlson's Jan, Jan Jarlson's? What? Okay, I don't even know anymore. Swedish confuses me. Building permit application? Ooh, can't it wait. It is so incredibly boring to shuffle paper and stuff. Why must I do this? 
Can't we play video games or something instead, Lucy? Only one paper, you promise? Okay, since you helped me with handing out the ballots, I'll be nice to you. Okay, here's the pen. Now, so now my name is on the paper. This is so incredibly boring. You get why I'm trying to do as little as possible, right? Get the signed application to jail. Okay. Did Jack sign it? Fantastic. Jan Yarlson. Jan Yarlson. Jan Yarlson. We'll be very happy. <laughs> know what, Lucy? I believe you'll be of great help here in the city. I'll keep an eye out for more issues the residents need needs help with. I'll let you know if, it, if anything comes up. Okay, thank you. You are nice. I don't like Jack. All right, the first candidate that people can vote for is Doris Yarlson of Paddock Island, the head of the Yarlson family. She's always been a calm and quiet person, working hard all her life. She is very interested in the history of the Harvest Counties and is passionate about the city. In short, she is super boring, drier than, than the Sahara, and that's perfect for this job. Sigh. But, oh wait. <sighs> what, what if my family hadn't disappeared without a trace? My mother... Yes, Evelyn Goldspur, the real mayor, one day, a few months ago, she just vanished and nobody has heard a, a peep from her since. Everyone has been looking all over for her, but there is no trace of her. Crazy mysterious. We'll have to talk about that some, uh, we'll have to talk about that uh, other time. Some other time. Okay, really, they really need to fix these typos. It's killing me. All right, I'll have to talk to Doris on the Paddock Island now. Ask her nicely, Lucy. Fingers crossed she'll accept. Okay, who else should I be going to? Dad is mayor. The next guy that would be perfect for the job is, is Jacob Goldspur. He would be an awesome mayor. He's very clever, and he helped my mother a lot when she was the mayor. Ask my dad if he'd like to run. He said no like a hundred times in the past, but if you were the one to ask him, he might change his mind. He should actually he should actually run. If he hadn't told me to be the mayor, I'd never taken the job, no matter how cool Herman said it was. But I'm a guy who does what his parents tell him, besides not going to school and not, and not have parties at home. But other than that... I'm an awesome son. Get it? Good. Luck, Lucy. Keeping my fingers crossed that you... Something super hard. I don't really care. Say, so what if my mom was here, Lucy? She'd know exactly what to do about this. Okay, talk to Philip, uh, Philip Sunfield then. He ha He's the same age as me, but goody-goody educated and incredibly boring. He seems to be the kind of guy people in the city like. Nah, I haven't talked to him. He doesn't seem to take me seriously, so I figured there was no point. Maybe you'll have more luck with him. Make an, make an attempt in any case, okay? Ask Philip Sunfield if you'd like to run for office. Good luck and stuff. Oh my god. What about you? Hi there. Who are you, Lucy? Nice to meet you. My name is Philip and I run the Sunfield farm with my family. If I want to be mayor. No, Lucy, I can't run for office as... Uh, run for the office of mayor. Evelyn was a good friend and I know in my heart she still lives. If I took her seat as mayor, it would be... It'd be to admit her death. And I can't see that. What happened? I don't know. She was here for lunch the same day and everything seemed normal. She was attending the interrogation of the GED's new mind in the evening and it sounded to her. She didn't look much... Uh, she didn't look forward to it much because clearly they can't type. She and Miss Drake, head of, of the Yellowhand GED, didn't see eye to eye. But she was attending none, none, nevertheless as the city's representative. Can I speak? I'm sorry, Lucy. Tell Jack you'll have to find someone else. Okay, time to try the paddock island then. What about you? Run for mayor? I've already told Jack I wasn't going to. You can tell Jack I won't run for the election. We have too much to do here at the farm. So many difficult things have happened. It's so sad about Evelyn. It's hard to imagine a better mayor. One day everything was normal and the next she vanished. What happened? The only thing I know is that she was intending interrogation of the opening of the GED's new mine in the mountains. But she obviously never made it. Mr. Drake got in touch during the evening and wondered why Evelyn hadn't attended the ceremony. Apparently she was going to sue the city for the insult and lost marketing opportunities or something. You'll have to ask someone else. I was... I was so busy here at the farm, I hardly know any details. Give Jack my regards and tell him to find someone else. <laughs> well then, who, who's left? Um, 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 okay, next is Jacob. It'd be appreciated if you'd stop walking. Oh, I've told Jack a hundred times I don't want to run. Why won't Jack give up? I've told him a hundred times I don't want to be mayor. It's too painful to take the job which my lovely wife used to have. I would be reminded of her every day. I couldn't bear it. Do you know what happened? No? Right, you're new in the county. My wife, Evelyn Goldsper, was mayor in Yarlaham. She made the city prosper and everyone loved her. Then one day she vanished. I waved goodbye to her in the morning and the only thing I know is that she was going to the opening ceremony of GED's new mine in the evening. But apparently she never showed and nobody knows where she went. What I, what I think. You said thing, not think, but okay. I don't know. It's strange. We find we didn't find a single clue, and no one has seen her since she left office in the city. I know she lives. If someone had, if something had happened, I'd know. <sighs> Tell my son. I'll ha he'll have to find some other mayor. <laughs> I think he already knows that. 
Hello? Yeah, I don't have any good news for you. Ah, <sighs> Phil didn't want to be mayor. How typical. Uh, so Doris, that old carcass, didn't want to run? Typical. Uh, so Dad didn't want to run? Typical. <laughs> okay then, um, is there anything left here for me to do? No? Mm, what could I do? Because I kind of still want to keep going. I don't really want to stop. I'm enjoying myself. Hmm. What would you guys say about a little bit of a somewhat extra long Let's Play part? I don't know how long it's going to be, but I want to sort of test it and see where this goes. So we'll see how long this takes, and we'll see if this will actually upload. Um, so I was about to pass because I wanted to do the quest down there, but I see a blue dot. And I'm somewhat curious, so I'm gonna see. What is this? Lucy, it's time to, to try and get the best possible time on the Baroness show jumping track. This is the first show jumping track in Silver Glades riding, riding Arena, which is owned by the Baroness with a great, with good gear, a high level, and a good riding. So you might be able to beat the fastest riders. Remember, you may have to take wider turns and adjust your speed to get a good time. You can't ride in a full gallop all the time if you want to finish the track. Oh, yay! I wanted these races. Congratulations, you completed the Baroness's first show jumping track. Oh, is there more? Oh, yay. You're welcome to try beating the best results of the Baroness's second show jumping track. Remember, practice makes perfect. Adjust your speed to be sure to make all the, tur the sharp turns. Good luck. Okay. Wait, no. I just realized I'm wasting good experience for a horse who needs training. I'll do that later. <laughs> Forget this. I'm good. We'll just go down here. I'm sorry, I just had to. Oh, look at this, so cute, this lovely, we do that stuffy. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Oh, okay. Oh, you cute little thing. Hello, Vet. Hello, Lucy. What did you say? You found some hedgehogs. They looked a bit sad and scared. Poor things, maybe they can't find their way back to their nest? Can you go back and look for the nest? I wish it was just down there. Fine. You know what? While we're here, I'm gonna go back to these riding hall races with this horse, since he's almost level 7. But I already read that, so we're gonna do this. Congratulations, you completed the Baroness's second show jumping track. Crack. crack. <laughs> Time to compete in at the Baroness's third show jumping track, is it? Sometimes it's difficult to have the right speed at the right time and to find the perfect route. But you'll learn. Better gear and higher level make it easier. Okay. Congratulations, you have completed, you have, you have a complete run at the Baroness's third show jumping track, and we're done. Okay, we're gonna go do the other thing now. Well, hello, vet. Talk to the vet. You didn't see any hedgehog nest? I see, maybe there, that's the reason why they're so sad. If you can find leaves, you maybe, you can, you maybe can make a hedgehog nest for you can ride to the Civic Equestrian Center and ask Judy if she has the rake to lend you. Hedgehogs usually, usually live in piles of leaves during the autumn. Some people give hedgehogs milk, but you shouldn't do that because they can get stomach problems from milk. Okay, I'm going to take my trailer. Look at this. I'm not running again. Give me the rake. Hello, of course I can lend you a rake. Are you going to rake leaves now? When it's spring and all? I will lend you my best drink, but why do you need to rake leaves now? You found hedgehogs? Oh, they are so cute. How nice of you to make nuts for them. Good luck with the raking. Okay. Sniff, 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 squeal. Did I do it? Oh, yay. They're happy now. Do I ever actually return the rake to her? Okay, I guess I don't. I guess I just scarred it on the floor and I'm good. Okay. Okay, well, I think I am done for today. I think I've had a little bit of enough. <laughs> um, 
Um, we'll see how long this ends up being. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.